The U.S. Supreme Court is leaving the Indian Child Welfare Act, or ICWA, intact. Yeah, the case included several adoptive parents and the state of Texas challenging the act. As reporter Courtney Yoon explains, this federal law has always been aimed at preventing Native American children from being separated from their family, tribe, and culture. I literally woke up this morning just in tears, like, was that, is this real? Is this real? Because For months, Katie Carell has been worried the Indian Child Welfare Act, or ICWA, would be abolished. Without our kids, we lose our language, right? We lose our songs, we lose our culture. Carell is we a parent advocate for the Colorado Office of Respondent Parents Council. She's also part of the Oglala Lakota tribe. Thursday morning, she woke up to the good news. It stands, ICWA stands. It's considered a major victory for tribes and native children. The thought of it being left up to the states was really scary. On Thursday, the Supreme Court justices rejected a broad attack from some Republican-led states and white families who argued the system is based on race. It's like, now you wanna talk about discrimination. What about when you were kidnapping our children? when families were hiding their children from the U.S. government to avoid them going to boarding schools. In 1978, ICWA was enacted to address concerns that Native kids were being separated from their families and placed in non-Native homes. Tribal leaders have long backed the federal law as a means to preserving their families, traditions, and cultures. Our culture and our people have been wiped out enough and we need our children to continue on our traditional ways of life. And so I just want people. Justice Amy Coney Barrett wrote for the seven justice majority saying the quote issues are complicated, but ultimately she says that the bottom line is that we reject all of the petitioners challenges to the statute.